Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. Todd, today we're doing a siding installation. And just to give everybody a little bit of a background, this story actually starts in 2002. That's right. The customer moved into the home and they had beautiful cedar siding, but they found after living here for only three years, they were repainting it already. So they gave it a paint application. Three years later, one more paint job. Three years later, one more paint job. They already had painted it three times and they said, that's enough. We've got to look for another solution. They live in a homeowners association that said, well, we have to use natural products, no vinyl, steel, or aluminum. And their choices are very limited in the industry. There's a number of manufacturers out there that make the cement board, and that was the route they decided to go. So approximately 2005 in that installation, they're already on their third installation of cement board siding right. in just recent years. And this last installation was done only five years ago. Tell us about some of the issues that they were having, Todd, with the cement product. Well, you know, cement board came on the scene, you know, when uh, cedar siding uh, was starting to become really expensive and requiring this kind of maintenance. And mm -hmm. a lot of these homeowners associations don't allow you to put vinyl or, or aluminum in. And also the look just, you know, they're looking for that look. So cement board seemed like it was a good option. The problem with cement board is it's brittle. Right. And so we could see in the, you know, behind us, you can see that the siding here is, is already cracked. It's right. five years old. And this is the second installation that has done that. Right. All right. Just from the heat buildup from the sun, it expands, it contracts and it cracks or it gets impacted and it cracks. Yeah, and it's not real strong. No. Um, the other problem that, that people are finding with the cement board is that it takes on water. Okay, for it, and so that it is not a stable material, and you can, and it's heavy, so you can see that it sags in some places. And finally, really, um, you see cement board having a problem with leaching. Sometimes you see staining through, you're not seeing it here, but right. this is a common problem. But if you take a look at the color of this siding right here, what do you see, Todd? Well, one of the big issues that we find on the house, Todd, is that the, the window trim, the door trim, the outside corners and the inside corners, they all require different accessories and they've faded at different, uh, at, at, at different rates over the last few years. Tell us a little bit about why that is. Right, so you've got the siding as one material, mm -hmm. then they use trim, which is like a, some kind of masonite material you can see. It's, it's a fiber board of some sort. And yeah. so when you put you paint these two materials, they're going to accept paint differently. Right. They also use two different kinds of paint processes on these two things. So within five years, You're completely when this is brand new, this yeah. looked just fine. Right. But five years later, you see the siding is one color red. They're not the, the same truth, anymore. No. no. So it looks like a 30-year-old siding job right. in five years. Right. So this is the problem that 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 people are having when they're using the cement board. So what are we gonna do here today? Well, in these homeowners associations, especially where they have to put a natural product on, we've got an engineered product that's called Rigid Stack Diamond Coat. And it's a very, very unique product. And we're real happy to represent it at WeatherTight Corporation. One of the things that we do, Todd, is, is the application of the siding that we put on is very different than a traditional cement board siding in the way that it's installed. We have a, a beveled edge on the top of the siding along with a, a piece of vinyl that actually locks the board together. Right. One thing that happens when you put a traditional lap siding together is the bottom is always loose. And when it's loose, it can vibrate in the wind, loosen up the nails, allow for moisture to get in. You can see that here. If you look at the bottom row, or the row where they're they're not lined up any longer. Right. I'm, I'm sure when it was brand new and it was installed, I think it was probably lined up. But now, only five years later, they're not at the same level. This takes the installation error, which is sometimes common, out of the equation because you can't miss when you have only one location right. to install that siding and the siding is also marked so that there's only one area that we can nail. The nails will always be hidden, and we're always going to have straight on the wall appearance. So that's one of the beauties of this particular product. Additionally, Todd, we use pre-finished engineered corners that are made of the, the very same, same material. Same material. Right? So over time, while this, is, this product is absolutely fantastic because of the unique paint that we use, it, it carries a 30-year paint finish warranty, right. no fading. The bottom line is we're, we're using all the same materials so the house over time will fade gently but consistently together. Right. That's the key. And this diamond coat uh, has a 30 year warranty against fade. Mm -hmm. So uh, the corners, the inside corners, the trim boards are all in, made of the same material. They're right. all going through the same paint process, right? right? So we don't have that problem of mismatched fading. 
Absolutely. All right, so that if we're here five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, we're gonna have a very even and consistent appearance. Right, and one of the other things that I think that really helps us make for an absolutely beautiful finish on the product, Todd, is that traditional siding, if you look very closely around the house, you'll see that there's a lot of nails that have to hold siding in, especially around windows, doors, inside corners, right. outside corners. And the manufacturer has engineered this product in such a way that it requires very little nailing. Right, well, n face nailing is what yes, you Yes, face nailing, right. thank you. So mm -hmm. what we wanna do, the goal is we don't want to have any nails piercing through the finish where it's visible. Right. 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 So that way we don't have to touch up small, you know, nail heads, or at least very minimally, that's the goal. Right. All right. So the way that's engineered, right, is it has those nailing fins engineered into the product. So it's hidden behind where those corners and trim boards are going in. So they're nailed in behind the siding. So you can't see them. We don't have to pierce the the finished edge in the on the outside, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right, right. Todd. So in, in fact, if, if you're one of those customers that might live in a homeowner's association that requires it, or somebody that's just looking for an alternative to vinyl, right. I gotta tell you, when we put on this rigid stack diamond coat siding, it is absolutely beautiful. It is the solution. So if you like additional information, just go ahead and search around here a little bit while you're on our website and thank you for visiting. Uh, give us a call and or let us know if you'd like a, an additional estimate. We'd be happy to stop by and help you out. Yeah, or fill out the form right here on the website and we'll, we'll go ahead and give you a call and we'll get an expert out to see you.